Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the little Toolkit RC M7 multi-function charger. It is a DC to DC charger, so you plug a big battery in one end and charge a, a smaller battery on the other end, but it is much, much more than that. It is also uh, a USB device charger, so it'll do 2.1 amps at 5 volts for a, something like a mobile phone or um, things like that can measure the internal resistance of a battery. It's uh, an RC signal generator and tester. I'll show you a little bit more about that. Uh, PWM, PPM and SBUS. It's an ESC tester and also a variable power supply, which will be very useful for uh, hot wire cutting. At the moment, I tend to plug in either a uh, 4S or a 2S battery, depending on how long the wire is, basically. And what I need to do is keep the uh, current going through the wire to about 5 amps. So very useful little piece of kit uh, for on the bench or taking to the flying field. Let's have a closer look. Here we are, a neat, neat little packet. package. You get a little quick start guide uh, and there is a much more detailed manual available on the website. Um, I did find that if you download it to your phone, you get the Chinese version, but if you, if you download it on a, um, a Mac or a PC, you get the English version. Uh, and it goes into a lot more detail than included in the little quick start guide. Some of the specs, uh, we get a, a data cable, USB data cable there, USB to USB. There's the little unit. Input voltage, 2 to 28 volts, maximum 12 amps. Charging power, 0.1 to 10 amps at uh, 200 watts. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the unit itself. We have the screen, on-off button, and scroll wheel and selector. On this side, we have XT60 in. Uh, that there is the uh, signal in and signal out. I'll show you that in a minute. USB, uh, XT60 out and balance lead out. Get a little couple of little feet there so it'll sit nicely on the bench. Cooling fan. Now the little signal thing out. Need to take this cover out. Whoops flung it over the top. So there we have uh, signal in and signal out. I'll show you more about that. Let's plug a battery in. So 4S battery going in. First screen we get shows the power input, uh, current temperature, voltage and current and that's in voltage of each cell. Let's plug the other. Plug a partially discharged battery in. XT60 and balance. So that shows us the voltage of each cell, overall voltage and the charging current there. LiPo high voltage lithium iron lithium uh, lithium iron uh, NIMH lead battery and UAV battery so this uh, will ch charge a few selected um, DJI style batteries most likely to want to charge the LiPo so we'll stick it at that you can choose the cells or choose auto uh, if your battery is over discharged it may not be able to detect the correct amount of cells so then you'd actually choose the number of cells uh, charge, discharge or storage, end voltage, charge current and start. So here we go, we've got uh, current charged voltage, charge current, wattage, temperature. Anyway, so we get the, get the idea. So that's about basic battery charging. Now I can show you signal generation. So we've got a servo here, I'll plug it into the uh, servo out, which is that one there. Servo plugged in, so long press of exit. And we 
we can do some other things. Measure resistance, measure signal and signal output. Let's do signal output. So we've got PWM here. Uh, that is manual. Then change the manually change the signal. Uh, center it with 1500. Probably the most useful setting. There we go. Couple of autos. Auto one, auto two, auto three. Just uh, scans through the outputs. Let's have a look at power supply, uh, so output voltage. You can choose the output voltage, so we want 12, 12 volts. Maximum current of say 1 amp or something like that and uh, then we start and that's what we'll get out of this end here. Alright, so I'll unplug this side and we'll do some measurements of uh, the output side and you can see the three little dots down here uh, and there we go in, there we go internal resistance of the 12 volt battery 3s 12 volt okay so now I have uh, an FSGuy RX6R receiver plugged in via SBUS to the uh, little multifunction tool I have it bound up to the uh, Lovely little TX12 radio. So you can see that's the SBUS output showing up nicely. Good way to check uh, whether your SBUS setup is working correctly. So there we are, we can see I'm twiddling the sticks there and that's showing that the SBUS setup, this is the 9 amp setup, is working correctly. Otherwise you'd have to plug it into a flight control board and look at the outputs. So that is a very useful little battery charger, field charger, uh, power supply, variable power supply, and a signal generator and signal measurer, signal tester. Great piece of kit. Thanks for watching.